Welcome back to the channel. I am here at breakfast in West Yellowstone. And look who I have with me today. So we are sitting here having some breakfast. And for anybody who doesn't know, that's Tomac. His YouTube channel is Adventure Tomac. And we are gonna go ride some dirt roads, do some camping, and hopefully take in some of the great Montana and Idaho scenery that we're gonna do today. So we're gonna go get on the bikes, get them loaded up and get going. So here it is, Tomac strapping his luggage on. It's my uh, ghetto setup here. <laughs> hey, whatever works. There's no wrong way to do it. Well, unless you break rule number one of don't die. All right. Well, we are finally riding. So what a fan frickin' tastic day. But talk about an amazing backdrop. Just freaking stunning. That right there is a million dollar view. This is what we came out here for. So I have chit chatted enough. I'm just gonna give you some beautiful, beautiful riding footage through this area and do my musical interlude like we normally do. Fantastic view. We got a pretty late start this morning though, because it was really cold. It got down below freezing last night where we were at. So we kind of waited for it to warm up and went and got breakfast. But now we've got to start moving. The silence fades into the night. Coyotes sing at the moonlight. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Feel the wind. Touch our face. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape. Look at that view. Yes, YouTube, that's real. This is why they call it Big Sky Country right here. Just amazing. This is exactly why I adventure ride. I guarantee you, you wouldn't have seen this on the main highway. Not a chance. I'll hold you close through the night. I won't let go until the sun rise. These open highways. Oh. This stuff is nasty. The GoPro is not going to show what this stuff is like. Yeah, I got sucked into those rocks in the middle. My tire got kicked off and I got into that rough stuff coming around that corner. Oh, shit. So I was bouncing all over it, it just gas and gas and then it's, oh, you're in the middle of it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Here's a voice inside my head. It's telling me to say the night again and hold on to the words we always say. All right, so we are out on 
Red Rock Pass Road, I believe, and that is the Centennial Range right behind us. So, Tomac, what do you think so far? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I know why they call this Big Sky Country. Yeah, yeah. The, the GoPros and stuff are not going to do this view justice. So, did you think the uh, that loose graded stuff was fun? It was a bit sketchy, yeah. It was... Uh... It's interesting. The terrain, you know, it's not it's not craziest yet, but at some parts, you know, it's getting there. All right. Well, we're going to keep going. We got miles to cover, so we'll uh, just keep riding. Every time that I think the view has been as good as it's gonna get it just gets better this is a phenomenal route if you want scenery this is the route I can hardly think of anything to say I'm freaking gobsmacked by this view This video is probably going to end up being like 25 minutes long just because there's so much freaking amazing views that I don't know what to cut. So this is our last view of these mountains. We're just getting to them. So I can unequivocally say that that is one of the most beautiful rides I have ever done. That is, on a day like today where it's just perfect, that is unbelievable. The mountains over there, I believe that's the gravelly range to my right. And obviously the Centennial Range to my left. Yeah, I don't even know what to say that I haven't already said. This road is a little diabolical. We keep kind of coming in as soft stuff, hard stuff, stuff that got rutted when somebody drove through it in the rain. So it'll keep you on your toes at places. Broken record time, but how stinking beautiful is this? This road, though, I cannot find a line. It doesn't all the fault hold. I assume Tomic's having the same problem because he's up on the pegs as well. A few cows. You don't have a smell o vision yet, so you can't smell it, but it smells like cows too. We've gotten back after some rougher and rutted stuff. This looks like it's good, hard, packed, make up time in a hurry stuff. So we're gonna get on to the town of Dillon. That's the next stop. And then I think the Bannock goes town after that. Yeah. 